Okay, now we're going to take a look at debt to equity. Uh, the formula for debt to equity is here. Um, debt to equity is simply um, total liabilities uh, expressed as a proportion of total equity. Um, it's usually expressed in a decimal form and not as a percentage. The ratio uh, of debt to equity shows how much debt an equity has, uh, sorry, how much debt a company has for every dollar of equity. So let's uh, look at an example now using Hasbro. Um, this is Hasbro's 2018 year-end balance sheet, and we can see that its total liabilities at this point were $3.85 billion, and shareholders' equity was $1.75 billion. So we divide uh, one by the other, 3.5 by 1.7, and we arrive at a debt-to-equity ratio of two. This means that Hasbro has $2 of debt for every dollar of equity invested in the company. So now the question is, is two good or bad? How do we evaluate that? And, um, and what do we have to say about the company now that we know this? Well, uh, to answer those questions, we need to do two things. Uh, first is to compare Hasbro to like companies, their peers in their industry, and two is uh, take a look at how their debt to equity ratio has been changing over time. So starting on the left-hand chart on this page, we can see that Hasbro's uh, debt to equity ratio of two is significantly lower than Mattel's at 6.8, but very much higher than both Legos and Spin Masters at each of those are less than one. And when we use horizontal analysis to compare 2018 debt to equity of two to the same measure in 17 and 16, we can see that Hasbro has been taking on more debt over time. Now, a higher debt to equity ratio means more risk to the shareholders. Now, some equity investors like to see reasonable levels of debt because they can get leverage on their equity investment in the company. Debt holders, on the other hand, generally, generally they like to see a lot of equity capital relative to the amount of debt a company has. So, uh, you know, one times is a balance of what lenders and equity investors are looking for. Debt to equity ratios in the one to three times range are quite common. Um, a debt to equity ratio over three uh, could become problematic. And we would call companies like Mattel here with 6.8 times a very highly leveraged company. And in fact, Moody's and other credit bureaus have recently designated Mattel as, uh, uh, as a junk status or non-investment grade um, debt company. So for this ratio, debt to equity, it's all about balance. A reasonable amount of debt uh, provides leverage for investors, but too much can cripple a company.